Welcome to this video on the nitrogen cycle. An important thing to appreciate is that about 78% of our atmosphere is nitrogen. It exists as two nitrogen atoms stuck together by a strong triple covalent bond, so it's pretty, uh, pretty unreactive, strongly bonded together. Let's start by looking at all the individual parts of the nitrogen cycle. Firstly, how is nitrogen converted from a gas in the atmosphere to a form that plants can use, to a form that plants can take up? Now, as I said, nitrogen is unreactive, but with the high temperatures of a lightning bolt, nitrogen reacts with oxygen forming nitrates, and these nitrates fall to the ground, and they can be used by the plants to make proteins. So, uh, lightning is one minor source in how nitrogen can be converted from air, from the gaseous state into a state that plants can be used. Now the harbour process. The harbour process is a chemical reaction used in industry to produce huge quantities of ammonium nitrate fertiliser. And ammonium nitrate fertiliser helps plants grow, it helps crops grow. If it weren't for ammonium nitrate fertiliser then we wouldn't be able to feed 7 billion people on this earth. Uh, this fertiliser is spread in huge quantities across fields, so it can cause eutrophication and other problems. Nitrogen gas can be converted to nitrate compounds by something called nitrogen-fixing bacteria. And these nitrogen-fixing bacteria live in the soil, or they live in root nodules, these little sort of swellings of roots. Now these bacteria can live in uh, root nodules of what's called leguminous plants, legumes. Now these are peas, beans and clover. So these plants are absolutely fantastic for adding nitrogen to the soil. If your soil is, is, uh, is lacking nutrients, then these legumes are perfect. Decomposers, like bacteria and fungi, they break down the feces and dead bodies of animals, and in the process they release the nitrogen in the form of ammonia back into the soil. So, we've talked about the ways that nitrogen is added to the soil, lightning, fertilizers, nitrogen fixing bacteria and decomposition. So what processes remove nitrogen from the soil? Well, plants absorb nitrates from the soil through their roots um, and they use these nitrates to build up proteins. This is an amino acid, the building block of proteins. So an individual building block of a protein is an amino acid. And you can see in this diagram here that nitrogen is needed to build an amino acid and therefore a protein. Uh, then the plants might be eaten by an animal, and its biomass is used to produce animal protein. In some conditions you can get denitrifying bacteria in the soil, and these guys break down nitrates and return the nitrogen to the air. Now as you can imagine, farmers don't want these bacteria in their soil. They don't want bacteria which removes the nitrogen from the soil and gives it back to the atmosphere. They want the nitrogen in the soil. Denitrifying bacteria tend to live in waterlogged soil, so improving the drainage reduces this effect and making the soil more fertile. So this is one reason why farmers aerate their fields. If you aerate your field by ploughing, turning the soil over with a plough, then you're not going to get these um, build-up of uh, stagnant sort of um, uh, stagnant or wet soil where denitrifying bacteria could live. Um, so. Nitrogen is lost from the soil through plants taking it up and through denitrifying bacteria. <clears throat> okay, let's put all that together now. This diagram has got a little more detail than my description so far, um, only that nitrifying bacteria can convert ammonia into nitrites, and then these are further oxidized into nitrates, which the plants can use. Um, they've also missed out the lightning bit but um, that's probably because it has a very small effect on the nitrogen cycle, so they left it out. Um, so there you have it, nitrogen atoms existing in different forms, going around and around, uh, and that's the nitrogen cycle. Um, I hope that's been useful. Thank you very, very much for watching.